up guys, Multiplier here. It's cray cray windy right now and rainy too, so I thought I'd give you a quick little video, a quick little tip, and it's all about fades. Um, so if you don't know what fades are, I shall show you. So let's say you're kind of dragging out some audio. Um, kick drum is a prime, prime, prime example. So you drag it out onto your track because you quite like the look of it. Um, and then when you do a bit of a zoom in, um, you can see around here, See how there's kind of like this little bit um, of kind of like, almost like there's like, like, a, like a slanty bit uh, where it like changes color, um, goes from kind of dark gray to light gray. Well, you see one of those both ends. Um, and that's basically because it's fading kind of the audio clip. So we can see this in kind of more detail. If we go over to this dude over here, do a click, do another click where it says fades and that'll kind of show us what's going on. Um, so we kind of zoom in again on one end and kind of zoom in around that kind of bit where that kind of slanty, like, like two color bit is. Um, you see you've got this kind of curvy pink line. So this is the kind of, kind of like literally the volume. Um, and the reason that Ableton, at least if you go into settings, if you go into preferences, all right, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone, where's it gone? It's probably somewhere around here, over here maybe. There you go. This guy around here, create fades on clip edges. By default, you probably want that turned on. Um, and the reason you want it turned on is it puts these guys in there. And I think it's about four milliseconds or so. Um, and the reason it kind of automates the volume like this um, is to stop clicking. So if you don't have this here, um, depending on what audio you're dragging in, you could get a weird little click. Um, at the start of the clip, which isn't good. So for most of the time, it's perfectly fine to kind of have these fades. However, um, when you've got kind of really perfectly made drum samples with like a really good kind of a attack that's been like finely crafted, like you can see here, um, Deb Mouse slash Steve Duda himself, themselves uh, made this. Um, what you don't want to do is have this fade kind of ruin, I say ruin, affect uh, the, the, the attack portion of the sound. Um, just because it kind of automates the volume a bit. Um, Steve Duda knows what he's doing and it's perfect, so don't need to be ruining it with a, a fade. Um, so it's just worth kind of keeping your eye on it. Um, at the end, it's fine because it's not really a big part of the sound, but drum samples in particular, um, you've got to keep an eye on the fades if you drag out the raw audio clips, like I do with my drums. Uh, just something to kind of keep your eye on. Um, I think somewhere you might be able to change the default fade length, but I don't even know, I might have made that up. But um, it's kind of like four milliseconds, which is fine. You won't really hear it, but it will stop that clicking. Because um, let's say if we took the audio like we did this, um, so if I kind of change the audio file, you see what's going on right now? Um, if they what, We've take, basically taken the fade away, um, but because basically the audio thing uh, the line wave dude of dude is not on zero. If we played this sound now, it would start with a click. Now, it probably wouldn't be too big of a deal since it's a kick drum, but you know what? You don't want it. So in this case, you'd want some bit of a fade going on and that would stop you clicking. But it all basically comes down to what sample you've got in the first place. So my general rule is to zoom in, take a look at what you got. In this case, you can see as I kind of pull, pull the fade in, the Audio clip is designed perfectly to begin with, so it starts at zero and we're not going to get any clicking. So we can probably drag that all the way out. But yeah, just something to keep your eye on. Um, yeah, fades. Knowledge, I've imparted it. Now your brain is better. Deja vu.